Go for it. Take two. It's a gusher. And a new cap. Got grass in it already. Oh boy, I'll tell you, it's a lot different than when we first tore this apart. You couldn't even see down here. It was covered in so much garbage. I know. It was it's like we pulled this front panel off and it was just full. Packed full of dirt and grease and oil and 50 years of who know what, who knows what. We're trying to get this backhoe finally going. And these little um, shaft thingies here were pretty rusted. And so we took a file to them and some sandpaper and got off all of the really major rust on there and cleaned them up a little bit so it wouldn't damage the seals inside the little sleepy thing or I don't even know what it's called but we cleaned them all up I put oil on stuff um, we have wired in the battery this backhoe requires two batteries it needs like 800 cranking amps amps to turn it over so we wired two batteries in series two six volt batteries to be able to get the amperage we need to get the engine to turn over. It's a massive engine, so it takes quite a bit of power to get it going. The Vickers, we were concerned about the Vickers uh, pump being a little too tight or something, but we fixed our battery problem, so I think that that's gonna end up being okay. But we've got all of these things wired in. Got the water temperature gauge. We have our starter, I mean our ignition thing. And all of it ready to go. So. Dinah claimed another hunk of flesh. Egypt keeps hurting himself on it. Claim another hunk of flesh. Big junk out of my arm this time. Okay. Want to start it? All right. Here goes nothing. All right, beautiful. <coughs> Wait. the heck oh the little fitting off of the uh, oil oil uh, line. this is another Nellie Johnstone we're never gonna get it fixed sure we will. why does it keep blowing stuff there's a lot of pressure it's a new engine there's a lot of pressure in there so uh, you know it's it's high pressure in a new engine, and uh, it's, you know, it's... Well, what do you have to do to fix this? We just need to get a proper clamp on it. Huh? Yes? I'm seeing you. And I see you. It's kind of crooked. Ah, we wanted to run the hydraulics. I know. We need to start her back up again. 
clear this stuff off the loader. getting ready for our shakedown cruise here. Robert's putting in the floor plate. It doesn't work. Yeah, it's working. Well, it might have been stripped. I, if it is, don't worry about it. But um, we've got... Um, well, it goes tight and it goes yeah, it's stripping. Don't worry about it. Just get it to a point where it's tight and leave it. Um, we are missing one of our uh, cylinders for this stabilizer. We found a replacement for it, a used replacement for it. It's not here yet, so we've just buttoned this up, but we do need to get the rest of the hydraulics retracted and up so that we can move this thing. We installed the transmission and the uh, gearbox, as you may be able to see in there. I don't know. Got the gear shift in. Wait, am I going the right way? You are. It just keeps loosening. Okay, they're stripping out then. Just get them as tight as you can and leave them. Um, and uh, so, looking over the engine, it's uh, it's got good oil pressure. Uh, the radiator's holding water. Um, it seems to be doing okay. We just need to get some uh, the gas tank back on this. We got the nose cone back on. And as Robert told you, we polished the uh, rams, the hydraulic rams, as best we could. And now, uh, well, we got the uh, steering wheel on. And so now it's time to now it's time to do our little shakedown cruise, right, Robber? Yes, I'm not. See if we can get this thing moving. I'm just going over there and filming it because yeah. it's going to go flying. Stand way far away. Or it's, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe fine. Let's get another floor plate. Up. 